Now I was able to get my ball to start right and it made a strong curve to the left. And if you could do that by your first go, I mean, that would be like gold. Hey, this is Golf Beginner World. I'm Vaughan and welcome to a very, very windy Cape Town. I actually wanted to pack up and go home. I was about to do a tutorial for you, but it's so windy I can hardly stand. But then I realized this wind is perfect for practicing straight balls. Obviously the wind is not forgiving. So if you're a slicer, your ball is most probably not only starting to the right, it's curving to the right as well. It could also be that you start the ball straight or to the left, but the curve to the right is always a factor. Now this curve to the right, you probably know it, is the difference between where the club is pointing to, let's say my club face points straight to the target, and the swing direction. So if my club face is pointing straight to the target, my swing direction is to a point left of the target. So it is this difference that causes the curve to the right. So that's really important information. That means that we got to, in order to get rid of our slice, we've got to exaggerate in the other direction. So what I'd like you to do is just aim normally straight towards your target. And please try and play straight into the wind. Please do not compensate with your feet. Um, that's not really going to help us today. So after you've taken your stance, keep your club head and hands in front of your feet during the backswing. And then try and get into a nice position at the top of the backswing. I'll put a link here for how you are able to get rid of the across the line position. Okay, so once you've done that, you've got to find a way of swinging more from in to out. Because until now, you've almost definitely been swinging from out to in. Okay, so what we are now forced to do is to drop our hands. It's almost like a circular motion. And believe me, you've got to exaggerate this. Because you've been doing this, this is going to feel so, so strange. But if somebody else watches you, they'll probably see you doing that. Okay, so after you started on plane, do a circular motion, your hands going downwards. And then from here, try and swing as far to the right as you can. While you swing to the right, make sure you stay bent over. Uh, with your butt sticking out, your left cheek, and your head forwards. So, do quite a few practice swings first. In front, circle, swing to the right. Now I was able to get my ball to start right and it made a strong curve to the left. And if you could do that by your first go, I mean, that would be like gold. It would be a totally different move and you would definitely get rid of your slice to the right in that way. Okay, but it probably won't uh, happen after one ball. You'll probably have to practice it and practice it. Okay, so if you're a hooker, this might sound very strange what I'm about to tell you, but your swing direction, if you're a right-hander, your swing path is too much to the right, far more, far too much to the right. So you swing too much from in to out. So yes, the pros do tend to swing slightly in to out, uh, but they tend not to exaggerate it and amateurs can exaggerate that move. So you've got to do exactly the opposite. So could you also aim towards your, your target, feet parallel to ball, target line, try and hit straight into the wind, keep on playing during the, the backswing, as I explained previously. But from here, you want to stop 
this. It might be that you're standing up, pushing your hips forwards, your head's going backwards. Um, there could be various things going on. But from here, try and turn your body as soon as you can. You're going to have, you're going to feel as though you're swinging from out to in, but don't worry. You've been doing this move for so long that uh, it's going to take many, many hours before you start swinging from out to in. You've probably seen it uh, in TV, the way some pros do this backswing. Now that looks totally wrong and it looks from out to in, but what these pros realize is they've got to exaggerate to come on plane. And that's exactly what you should do. So let me try this. My ball started straight and curved slightly to the right. So if I was a hooker, that would really be a good ball flight to see. Okay, so next time it's windy, you've got a wonderful opportunity to get rid of your hooks and your slices. Have fun.